Roast beat in FL Studio. What the f is this? What's going on? I'm gonna break down this confusing plugin in a few very easy to follow steps. And this video is a clip from a longer video called the ABCs of FL Studio, which you can find in the description of this video. Here we have gross beat on its default setting and I've put a simple piano melody in that's just going up the scale so you can hear exactly what gross beat is doing to it. So in gross beat, we have two sections. We've got time and we've got volume. I'll start with volume because that's the easiest. Uh, this is literally just a volume envelope. That's all it is. If we go to two beat gate, the volume is only playing when this is up. This is basically a volume knob. If we made one from scratch, let's just do like this, and this is basically just gonna fade the volume. And every time it starts again, this volume envelope is activated. So I'm just gonna change that back to empty. Now this is where it gets a little confusing, is this time section. Because you'll notice if you just play around with it a little bit, like. But then you go all the way down. What the f is happening? I'm gonna show you what the f is happening. So you right click to add a point, and then depending on what type of effect you wanna do, you should either do hold or smooth or single curve. If you wanna do rhythmic effects, then hold is your best friend because whenever, whenever the line goes straight down, it does something like this. And you can play around with how far you bring it down to give you different effects. So that's basically just repeating the bar behind it if you do it right here at negative two. So it's going back in time. Now for pitch changes, what you wanna do is right click this little dot you drew and turn it into a single curve. And this curve is gonna make the pitch go down. Fake news. Future Chill Panic here, I lied. Whenever you slant the curve like that, what it's gonna do is bring down the pitch, but without doing it over time. So you're not gonna get any artifacts to sound like a turntable. You're not gonna get any wiki wiki wiki. It's just gonna bring down the pitch as if you turn down the pitch in the sampler or something like that, if that makes sense. The steepness of this curve is gonna decide how drastic the pitch change is. To get the uh, turntable effect, you just wanna make something like this, kind of a steep curve. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't understand this thing fully, and there's a really good tutorial that goes super in-depth by this other dude that I'm gonna link in this description as well. But if you're just getting started with it, these are the basics of it. And then on the time and on the volume side, you've got different presets you can mess with. And sometimes I just like to combine these just at random just to see what happens. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with Gross Beat. I've actually made my own patcher plugin or preset using like three or four different Gross Beats. It's basically just a randomized chopper. It's basically just a bunch of Gross Beats being randomized. And you can get this on my Patreon.